Hey, Homestead Prepper. Okay, I guess this is part two of the Doomsday Bug Out trailer. And what I want to say is a lot of y'all are not considering a trailer as part of your bug out plan because uh, you think just because you don't have a truck, you can't pull a trailer. But what I want to say is, uh, you know, it was common, <laughs> well, this was back in the day, you used to see a lot of cars pulling trailers, pulling boats, pulling trailers with other cars on them. Of course, you know, granted the cars were a lot bigger back then, but uh, my wife had an Altima a few years ago and it was rated to tow a thousand pounds. Um, uh, there's a lot of uh, Camrys and Civics out there that are rated to, you know, tow a thousand pounds. So just because you don't have a truck doesn't mean you can't get a, one of those small fold-up trailers from uh, Harbor Freight and in a bug out situation, you know, put um, your tent, some chairs, uh, some, you know, jugs of water, your generator or whatever you want to take with you in a bug out situation you know if uh, you know if the authorities come around and say oh, oh mandatory evacuation because of a radiation leak in your area and you have to pile everybody up in you know like my wife's Ultima she used to have and you know by the time uh, we get in there and you know you put some uh, some other family members in there kids the cats the dogs and all that and you try and cram the trunk and the roof full of stuff you're going to be limited on what you can take with you a trailer is going to expand your versatility and you're going to be able to take a lot more stuff with you than you uh, normally would. So, uh, and it's going to make your stay a lot more comfortable. Uh, just a couple trailer basics I want to talk about here for you people who don't have trailers, haven't used trailers. I always put a lock or a pin or something through here to keep this popping loose. I had one of these pop loose one day and the safety chains caught it and it was, uh, it was right in front of a business and a guy just saw what happened and he jumped out there and helped me pick this thing up uh, what I see a lot of times is I see the chains long and they drag the ground and they spark just uh, what you can do is just twist it like this and this uh, takes up the slack just like that same thing here but I, I see so many of these things dragging and it's just a very simple fix just to just twist it like that and you're good to go make sure this is plugged in and I always check the uh, the tail lights so okay guys well I just want to do a quick video and uh, reach out to you people out there who, uh, who you know don't have a truck and you think just because you don't have a truck you can't pull a trailer not so but uh, you know check your vehicle manufacturer to see what the tow capacity is. Okay, that's it. Homestead Prepper out.